And a bowl, I don't have a bowl. I don't feel like waiting on the butter to melt, so basically we're not gonna. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie Williamson and this is Mom Mail. If you don't know what Mom Mail is, it's basically my mom sends me packages that I don't know what they are from Amazon. I open them and we have a blind reaction together. It's gonna be a good time. It really is. I don't know if you're new here, but I've only had one other video, so welcome. You're one of the first viewers. This is gonna be like a long-term thing. This is a box. It is huge, but it's actually really light, so... Trickery, trickery. Cat eyes, scissors. If you hear stuff in the background, it's the freaking cats. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know, if you can't tell, I don't get much mail. Oh my goodness gracious. Sky, come here. Red? Why do I choose to do these at night? <laughs> All right, the rest is empty, it's just packaging. This is a box by Baketivity, and it says get ready to have some fun. Okay, let's get ready to have some fun, I hope so. Uh, it sounds like we're getting ready to bake. I don't wanna. Okay. Together we bake. This is actually really cute, this is a cute box. Oh my God, we're gonna have to bake something, guys. I should have done this during the day. Do you see what that says? Hot pretzels baking kit. Oh my God, I love pretzels. Does it come with cheese? Do I have to make it? First of all, I don't like baking. Second of all, my oven doesn't work. I mean, it works. It doesn't work. Oh, well, let me show y'all. Hold on, it's loose. Oh my God, it's like dough. Like it's like actual like we have a package of baking soda, flour, coarse sea salt, yeast, kosher salt, brown sugar, and flour. A lot of it. We have the how-to. One hour? Oh, man, guys. We're going to be like, we're going to be doing this. 20 steps? Oh, man. Educational activity. Let's talk about taste buds. That's your tongue map. There are taste buds in your nose. Oh, smoking can ruin a person's taste buds. Okay, well that was a fun little lesson. I guess let's head to the kitchen. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I hate baking. Oh, I was like, these are, these are not, oh my God, I have to make dough. And a bowl, I don't have a bowl. I'll use a pot. Large mixing bowl. The yeast and one and a half cups of warm water. I don't have a measuring spoon cup i feel like i feel like i can figure it out there we go yeast looks disgusting maybe it just got staticky in the bag it kind of looked like how i don't know if y'all ever played with those things it was like a magnetic face and you could like drag the magnets around to make the beard on the person i'll put a picture because i don't know if i'm crazy but that's what the yeast look like this is what i look like actually i'm gonna leave my camera like this for the flash. Can y'all see me though? So this is a cup, one and a half cups. I feel like this is probably one and a half. You ready? Watch this. That's one cup and that's a half. Can we all agree? Okay, now I gotta mix it. Oh my God. I have a knife. Let's use a knife. It smells bad. Oh, it said warm water. I only have cold water. Mmm, yummy pretzel. Okay, the next step says in a microwave bowl, microwave butter. Do I have butter? Oh yeah, I do. Um, I don't have a microwave though. I don't like microwaves. I don't want one. We use the stove for everything, um, but I'm not gonna put butter on the stove. Instead a tablespoon. What do y'all think? That's probably like, it's like half a tablespoon maybe. Nah, we'll, we'll say it's a tablespoon. We'll say that's a tablespoon. I'm playing. <laughs> Well, whatever, while this melts, I'll just set it over here. While that melts, we have to put in the kosher salt and the brown sugar. I didn't know brown sugar was in uh, pretzels. That is interesting. Use a wooden spoon. Oh my gosh, I actually do have a wooden spoon. Should I use it? How do I clean? How do I clean wooden stuff? I don't use it, I use it as like decoration because I don't know how to clean it. I, I guess we'll use it. I guess, it says so. Uh, but then I have a, okay, I will use it. This butter is not melting. That's just gonna have to be good enough. I don't feel like waiting anymore. 
gradually add the flour and use your wooden spoon. Oh, well they want us to mix this up first, so let's do that. Why isn't it focusing? If it's been on focus that whole time, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my camera right now. I know that looks like dirt. It's it's brown sugar. It's not like a kibble bit. Like what? This is our melted butter. I don't own a whisk. Get off. That's so gross. This looks like chocolate milk. You want to sip? I don't feel like waiting on the butter to melt. So basically we're not gonna. But like gradually, like we'll just add a little bit. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh no. That's fine, we didn't need that much. Okay, now we'll just start stirring it with our wooden spoon. Are you supposed to wash a wooden spoon before you use it? Add another portion of the bag. Why can't I add the whole thing? Here's my thing, my mom watches my YouTube videos. So if she watched any of my cooking with me videos, why did she give me this? Okay, why did they want us to use a wooden spoon? They just want you to look professional. I'm supposed to add all of this? Did I miss this stuff? Alright, let's go ahead and pour it off. Good thing we poured some. Like, on the table over there because... Good lord. Alright, let's just dump, let's just mix all this in. Like, some of it's supposed to be left over, right? I said until it's not sticky, it ain't sticky, it's not on... Well, it's a little bit on there, but... Um, this is actually going swimmingly, to be honest. Way better than I thought. Wait, is there more flour? There is! Oh my god. Okay. Alright, now we gotta get our pan ready. I have too much flour. Something's not right. Maybe it is. It's just not, though. You know what I mean? And they want me to touch it with my hands. Whoa. I'm going to knead the dough for five minutes. I mean, three minutes. Shape it into a ball. Cover it up. And leave it for ten minutes? Oh my god. God. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat Doritos with cream cheese. I'm so glad I decided to do this tonight and not uh, tomorrow or anything because, well actually Wednesday I'm doing my nails again and I hate getting stuff under my nails. Like under my real nails, whatever, but under fake nails, it bothers me so much. So we're gonna grab our dough out of here. That wasn't too bad. Oh crap, I was supposed to put my other dough down first. It's okay, this is what we'll do. There we go. I've got plenty. I didn't even need the other bag. So, need it. Um, I think that's when they go like this. I need you, though. I need you. I'm gonna flip her. I'm gonna need her this way. I don't know. I always feel like when I mess with the dough like this, it's, uh, it's gonna lose all its air bubbles, which to me is, like, the good part of the dough, right? You want the air bubbles, I thought. You want a bunch of, like, no sticky at all. Is this what kneading is? Am I supposed to use this part of my hand? I'm using my knuckles. It's easier. I don't get it. I don't get it. I hate baking. This is a lot of work for a pretzel. Shout out to whoever makes pretzels. Um, Alexa, how much more time on my timer? You have 30 seconds left on your two minute timer. Oh, dope. I suppose to just like, do like that, yeah, like this. Okay, now I shape it into a ball. I think I did use too much flour because it's not wanting to stick to itself at all. Okay, so it says to put a towel on it. I'm not putting any towel on my dough where there could be a hair. That's disgusting. So what I will do is I will put saran wrap on it. Alrighty. Maybe it's just so like particles don't get in it. I don't know, but I will see you back in 10 minutes. Okay, psych, I lied because apparently I'm supposed to be doing other things while this is happening. So it wants me to put water on the stove. Okay, I knew I would need my cup later. Nine cups, I'm gonna say this is uh two cups and medium heat. We'll go ahead and heat up the pan a little bit. So one, two, oh no. I gotta wait. Okay, I have no idea where my footage went. Also, my computer will not let me record right now. Enjoy this picture of a brat stall. Basically, I made a pretzel bath out of putting the water and baking soda together. Look, y'all only got 10%, so. Ooh, I don't like the way the baking soda looks in here boiling. There's a lot of, there's a lot of holes. So apparently this is the pretzel bath. Um, and basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna, when the timer goes off, we're gonna unfold this, we're gonna flatten it out, we're gonna as I was saying, we're flattening it out, then we're cutting it into like 12 different sections. I only got six out of it, and then we rolled it up and we made the pretzels. Okay, I think my, com uh, my phone is running out of storage or something. It stopped recording. Um, so I got one. I'm going to make them all to pretzels and I'll come back. I'm going to try to show you me doing this one before it turns off. I got really lazy with them. Um, this is how I'm doing it. I said 20 inches. I don't know how long that is. I don't feel like figuring it out. It's like over a foot. I know that. Not 24 inches is two foot, so I don't know. But this one's a little bit smaller than the rest anyways. It's going to be skinnier, so. But this is how I've been doing it. I've just been squishing them like this. Because I don't have the space to be doing all that. And then what you do, I don't know if you can see my thing anymore, but you lay it down. You twist it twice 
and then fold it over on itself. And there's your little pretzel. Can you tell? These are all of them. Now I'm gonna dip them in their bath. I actually turned the heat off and everything because it was taking me so long. So I'm gonna turn it all back on and we're gonna dip them and yeah. Um, it says use spatula. I don't have one. Oh, I got this though. It's got like holes in it. I'm just gonna hold it and dip it in like that. And we're supposed to leave it for 20 to 30 seconds. Actually, I might be able to set them in there. So do that real fast. And I'll try to remember, some of them came out really like chunky. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting. One, two, nine, 10, 16, 17, 20. I'm just gonna scoop them out in reverse order. And I'm gonna place them on the pan, I believe. All right, so this one was the first one. Oh, that's hard. Kinda hot. Okay, I don't think we have room for this one. But also, he kind of fell apart, so that's fine. I don't know why my phone's- Okay, so my phone stopped recording because I'm out of storage space. Blah. But I finished um, putting these on the thing. I put the uh, salt on them, which y'all didn't get to see, which I was talking a whole bunch through it. So that's kind of irritating, but whatever. I'm trying to get some of this, this uh, flour off of here. And then we're going to put them into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Um, and the pan sort of got hot from sitting on the stove. Alexa, set a timer for 13 minutes. 13 minutes. I deleted some apps and stuff. This is my mess right now. Like, what? Oh my gosh. And then like some of that is just my counter, but I, we have a bowl of flour over there and trash. And then already all my dishes, so. Thanks, mom. So they actually have a tutorial on here. Like you can scan that, you can take a picture, whatever, do whatever you want. Oh, it also has the link. So you can watch an actual person do it right. But it's funny, their name is Madison too. You can have her version or you can have this Madison's version. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, doing it right. I don't care, we're doing it right. We didn't use all the flour. We're, um, we don't need that much, we're not wasteful. I mean, we wasted it, but like, if you didn't give it to us, we wouldn't have been wasteful. And we didn't use as much butter. And we didn't use, you know what? We didn't use a lot of the ingredients. I'm not sure we did this right. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm doing like 2010 pose, eh, it's because the light is right up there. Anyways, the timer just went off. Let's take a peek. And I cleaned up a little bit too while we were on our little break. Oh, goodness gracious. <gasps> oh my God, they look like pretzels. Like that's like the perfect golden brown. Hold on, let's get these out. Sorry the lighting isn't the best. I, I don't care, I really don't. Oh my gosh, hold on, hold on, hold the phone, people. Why do these actually look so good? Especially that one, I'm so proud. Oh my gosh. I've got to get that one alone so I can take a picture of it. Oh my gosh, but oh my God. Let me get a plate. Why is it ripping up with it? No. <laughs> they look so good. They're stuck, they're stuck, stuck. I'm talking like, like that. <gasps> Oh, let me try a different one. Okay. Oh, hot. Adorable, adorable. I wish this one would come up. It's so pretty. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna try the one that I thought looked the prettiest. I forgot where that one went. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one. I actually don't really like pretzels, so we'll see. Some of them are a little more rough. Um, The bigger ones are definitely, they might not even be done. They're really doughy. Like they're really squishy. I'm surprised. It's actually good. I mean, but they look good. Like it tastes like honestly like a, a pretzel from the mall. That's the only place I've had a pretzel, so. I'm extremely surprised. I wanna take a bite of the bigger one, but also I don't wanna just take like a bite of one each and just like let it go. That's crazy, okay, because I never knew how to make a pretzel and all it takes is freaking what we learned, yeast, brown sugar, flour, baking soda, and then the salt. The only thing I would have to buy is the yeast. I have literally everything else in my kitchen. That's crazy. I didn't know it was that easy. And even though I didn't follow the right method of like rolling it out, they turned out pretty visually appealing and they didn't like break apart. Like this one, you can tell he wanted to like right there, but he's pretty stable. The only thing that got really stuck to the pan and they did say use parchment, parchment paper. I don't have parchment paper. I don't know. I feel like they taste really good. So I'm like really confused. Why did I have so much flour and salt? And why did they suggest 12? Are they supposed to be smaller? Maybe I made them bigger than they wanted. The back of them look kind of dark and so do the ends. But I feel like that's on a regular pretzel too, right? What happens if you eat bread that's not done? Thank you so much for watching. 
comment down below ideas for my mom to send me stuff if you made it this far. I'm surprised, this one was just like nice. I made a mess, but it wasn't as chaotic, you know. I still hate baking, I don't care. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 I don't care, um, bye.